Hello once again everyone, welcome to Cruisenix Purgatory. I'm your host Cruisenix X, and it has been a long and highly depressing journey. We have finally made it to this point. The final chapter in the Stormblood Dark Knight storyline. Let's not waste any more time. In the last episode, Mist and I ran into an old comrade of ours from back in the 2.0 days. But unfortunately, he was dying. And before everything was said and done, Mist made the third simulacrum that we've been waiting for. But the death, there wasn't really much closure to it for Mitt in terms of Mist's stand, Mist's standards. So he's kind of freaking out, I guess. Um, he hasn't shown up in Ishgard, I see. So let's get right down to it and see where he is with the level 70 quest, the final chapter in these. Stormblood, Dark Knight storyline, our, comp our compromise. God damn it, Mist. We're going to have to track him down and make him return the remainder of the ether he stole from you, aren't we? He said that when this was finished, naught would remain of him. Bloody vague and ominous, to say the least. We'll just have to press him for answers when we find him. You last saw him at Rogers Reach in Girabania, yes? We'll start there. I'm going too, and I won't... I'm going too, and I won't take no for an answer. Sid's gotten better, but he's a long way from fully recovered. Besides, you'll need someone else to help you do the talking. Sid's no good at it. Off to Rogers Reach! Man, it's taking forever to teleport these days. Alright, who's over here? Looking for a young boy with blue, long blue hair, you say? Reckon I would could remember. Reckon I would remember someone like that if they were come this way, to come this way, and I don't. Spoke with the fella before me during the champion change. Spoke with the fella before me during the changing of the guard, as we do. And he made no mention of anyone matching that description either. Let's see. Hmm? What's that? You're looking for that boy too, are you? I was watching some birds late the other night when I hear someone skulking about behind me. Forgive me, forgive me, I hear him saying before he runs off and disappears into the dark. Then I realize it's quiet. Too quiet, eh? Huh? Saving birds make noise, and mine ain't. Cause they're dead. Every last one of them. No wounds or any other obvious marks, but there they lay, like the life was sucked right out of them. I don't know how or why he did it, 
but there's no denying that he did. I demand recompense. If you find him, you bring him to me. Hello, Aurilla. Ah, uh -huh, yes. I remember her, the long-haired boy. Very curious. With many questions about the nature of Ether, he conversed with one of the Adder Conjurers for a time. I know not what they discussed, but from his dis expression, I gathered it was important. Why do I have to run all the way across? Let's see. Oh. Everything's lagging today. Our inspector returns. Tell us, have you learned aught of Miss whereabouts? Seen conversing with a conjurer and possibly killing chocobos. Not sure what to make of that. That we can be sure he stayed here for a time. Or perhaps no longer. We learned but moments ago from Gillow here that a boy matching Miss's description was seen leaving the Reach. He's for the peaks, and so are we. Alright, let's follow them. To the peaks! There he is. No visible injuries, no bleeding. Aye, it's as Riel says. These beasts died for no discernible reason. Just like the chocobos that man in the reach claims Mist somehow killed. But it doesn't add up. Other than his singular magic, Mist was utterly helpless. Unless... Was he always capable of this? But we know the answer already. He stole your ether when we first met. Even if he could do that, even if he did do it, why? We'll ask him when we find him, and this time you'll let me do the talking. Search the east. Riel, Riel and I will head north. We'll meet in between if we find not, and if we do, either you will come to our aid, or we to do. Or we to yours. Nothing so far. As you survey your surroundings, you observe naught but the ordinary, but on the edge of hearing, you hear a whisper to the southwest. There they... Oh, no. no. Alright, let's do it. Seven hells, I hate being right. On your guard, Miss has shown his true colors. 
the ether or whatever else he took from those beasts has given him tremendous strength. Contrary to his other warnings, conjuring another simulacrum wasn't the end of him. And all the wonderful people he had, and of all the wonderful people he had to pluck from our memories, he chose Istri de Caligno. He knows why we're here, and this is his answer. He summoned the monster that haunts Riel in her dreams and sends her screaming from her bed. Forgive me, Sid, but you gave me no choice. Say your name. Your real name. Shall I ask you the same? Who holds the reins? Though it matters not, we are complicit, you and I. Can you even remember why you came here? Can you even remember how many you killed? How many lives you shattered? How many stories ended? Upon the surface of the crystal are caused the sins of dark nights past. And yours are beyond counting, beyond fathoming, without end. Justice is just an excuse. Nobility a lie. Murder is murder. And though we are most definitely not without fault, it is this cruel, indifferent world which has made matters of us all. But we need suffer no. But we need suffer no longer. I sought to make these broken souls whole, one by one, when in truth the solution was much more simple: a world beyond pain and suffering, and anguish and despair, a world beyond death. A world in which we never need bid farewell to our dearest friends. And how many beasts will you have to kill to make this world of yours? How much ether will you consume to see it through? Bloody self-righteous sophistry from a mewling whelp. So brilliant your plan is to fill the world with simulacra of the dead, is it? And somehow that's supposed to make everyone happy? Well, you're right about one thing, I'll grant you that. The world, this world is brutal, uncaring, without logic or justice. No justice, but that which we make for ourselves. And I'll be damned if I give it up so you can force your illusions on us to assuage your guilt. Did you not find comfort in the reunion with your master? Even though you knew it was a lie, it did not help you to unburden your did it not help you to unburden your soul to find a measure of peace in this madness. I am not your enemy. Not then, not now. I will not fight you. All I ask is that you leave me to do my duty. It is never too late to turn back. You are still a good person. You can still be a good person. So this is your answer. Maybe you cannot accept what needs to be done, but I can. Goodbye. Here we go. Art is the greatest lie of all. We have to end it. I remember every face. They're waiting and watching. Nice, holy something. Didn't help you, but it was nice. It was cute.
Ilbert. Livia Sus Junius. Riditin Sus Avina. So many broken by this world. And then by you. So, so many. Woe betide the man who stands opposed to the weapon of light. For death will be his reward. Death for him and his kin and all that he holds dear. Woe beside the man who stands with the weapon of light. For death will be his reward. Death for him and his kin and all that he holds dear. Like sands through the hourglass, everything we fight so desperately to protect slips through our fingers. And what remains, what remains, is us. Only us and the memory of our sin. To walk this path is to suffer to sacrifice. Listen to my voice. Listen to our heartbeat. Justice demands no less. <laughs> <laughs> Serve, save, slave, slay. I've sins aplenty, I. But regrets? Not so much. And if he wouldn't listen to me, the embodiment of good sense and pragmatism, then what hope could you possibly have? A house divided cannot stand, you know. This childish rebellion ends now. What in the seven hells is this? <laughs> A compromise, I suppose. Our dear friend here refused to let me take the reins. But I wasn't about to stand idly by what that imbecile tries to do. Whatever it was he was trying to do. No hard feelings about White Brim, eh? Promise not to stab you in the back. It'll be just like old times. A dark knight needs a sword. Take mine. When it comes, I shall welcome it with open arms. But today will not be the day, and you will not be the judge! Let's do it! We'll deal with the dross, then the boys. A simple plan.
Look on the faces of your victims. They are legion. Again and again you kill. Do you feel nothing? You know my heart. It beats like any other. These scars of and sins are ours to bear, not to deny. But you, boy, I deny. Yours is a coward's way. What a throne of bone he waits. Dug deep for these those magnificent bastards, didn't you? But lest you forget, we bested them before. Grown too weak to summon more shades. Tarl, you soul eater! Reclaim the last of your ether! Make us whole! A reckoning will not be. Can they go to join the multitude in the black oblivion of the abyss? Such is our lot. Such is the fate who, of all who are born. To suffer and to die. Do not seek forgiveness, for it will not ease the burden. It weighs as it should. But what of the lost? Do they not deserve to live again? They do. In our hearts and our souls, and our memories. 
No one likes having to say goodbye. But it's... It's a part of life. That's what makes the time we share together so precious. You can't obsess over the mistakes of the past. Or you'll lose sight of the future. Of the people still with us. Who need us more than ever. The greatest strength is born of the flame in the abyss. Listen to my voice. Listen to our heartbeat. Listen. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. Thank you. That is all I ever wanted. So, this is it. One last parting. One final farewell. After a fashion. In, our, in your darkest hour. In the blackest night. Think of me. And I will be with you. Always. For where else could I go? Who else could I love but you? Chills. Literal chills. Alright, let's go to Wishguard. Back to the Forgotten Night. You'll forgive us for returning to Ishgard ahead of you. I hope I... Uh, I, uh... Needed some time to think on everything that happened in Girabania. I won't pretend to know everything you've been through in your life. A man can never truly understand what's in another's heart. And probably not their own for that matter. I'm pretty much rambling at this point, but... I suppose what I'm trying to say is that I'm grateful for everything you've done for me and Riel. I like you. I respect you. And I will always be here for you, if you need me. We're fellow walkers of the past. We're fellow walkers of the path, after all. And friends, I like to think. I've been wondering. Missed appeared at the same time the Soul Crystal crack yet? But which happened first? And why then and there? Damned if I know. Does anyone truly understand how soul, how soul crystals work? What matters is that the crystal and tarl have been made whole. That said, a heart bleeds. A man weeps. A soul burns. Thence comes the darkness. 
to consume, and few hearts have bled as much as his. Speaking of bleeding, I think your wounds have reopened. If you would sit, I would be much e it would be much easier for me to tend them. You should get some rest too, Tong. Not all wounds are so obvious. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, praise Helone. She's right, though. No need to overdo it by running off to the next battle just yet. If you must put one foot in front of the other, though, why don't you go back to where this whole damn mess began? Maybe you'll have an epiphany. All right, let's return to where it all began. And we're whole again. Hmm? What troubles you, Master Cabot? Ah, but of course. It's bitterly cold this day. At times like these, one should be warming themselves by the fire. Well, the day goes by without your name being spoken, you know? The soldiers and merchants often bring us news of your latest exploits. That said, it's easier to hear from the hero himself. That said, to hear from the hero himself would be much preferable. But there would be no expectation were you to call on us. The pleasure of your company alone would be more than enough. Rare though I expect it to be in the days to come. But your destiny was never to remain here, was it? Though a part of me wishes that you would. Forgive me. I find myself growing more and more sentimental in my old age. And in working on my memoirs, I have had to reflect on the darker chapters of my life. Heart of Font. Lived to his fullest. And if his story preserved for generation if his story is preserved for generations to come, then I I should be glad of it. You will always have a place here, Tom. For you are family. Now go. Don't let me keep you from your labors. The world waits for no one. Not even you. And with that, our quest is now complete. From the depths of the abyss, you hear a whisper and are filled with warmth. We've learned the action, The Blackest Night. This concludes the Dark Knight quest for Final Fantasy XIV, Stormblood. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have registered a product key for Final Fantasy XIV, Shadowbringers, to your service account. You must have completed the main scenario quest, Shadowbringers. You must have completed the role quest, To Have Loved and Lost. Once you have done so, the next Dark Knight quest will be available from Sidergu. And with that, we've expanded the dark side gauge, which I will tell you more about in, an, in the next episode. Um, we've earned the achievement A Dark Day's Night and earned the title of the Swirling Abyss. We've also received our newest, our newest gear, and I am going to... Clear out some inventory space because we kind of sort of need it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know I'm discarding a lot of shit that I should turn in, but... There we go. Now then. Let's show off our new gear. So, for leg gear, we have the Antiquated Abyss Flanchard. For feet, the Antiquated Abyss Solarets. For chest gear, the Antiquated Abyss Curos. For hand gear, the Antiquated Abyss Gauntlets. For head, the Antiquated <laughs> Abyss Bourgeonnet. With visor function. And last but certainly not least, for our new artifact weapon, the Antiquated Collad Bowl. And now we finally caught up to Dark Knight, and I can do other things with it. Um. But yeah, we look pretty dang good in this. For the most part. But I wonder what Taro would look like in the level, uh. The level 80 armor. But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll level him up to Dark Knight again. Um, but with that being said, that's going to conclude yet another episode of Cruisenix Purgatory and another Path of Questline. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live at PlayStation and you like this show, feel free to hit the follow button. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my live streams and videos the moment they air. And be sure to subscribe to me for exclusive access. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking below. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode. Well, click here to watch the previous episode. And click here to watch the entire Dark Knight storyline. Until next time, Chris and Gex, signing out.